Hi everybody, my name is Jim with the Full Moon Adventure Club. Today we're going to be talking about lithium-ion batteries and a warning for cold weather storage. Now the batteries that I'm going to be talking today are for RV applications and they are lithium iron phosphate batteries and that's what I've kind of done the research on. So I don't know if this necessarily applies to lithium ion batteries, the little guys that you'd find in most electronics or other applications, but these are the big guys for the RV applications, 100 amp hour batteries and etc. They are lithium iron phosphate. Now a lot of people will have these in their RV and the only problem that I'm really seeing with them is that once you dip down into the colder temperatures, uh, you start to see some problems. They have a very good temperature tolerance range, which is upwards of 120 degrees Fahrenheit to uh, the website on one of these batteries says negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I wouldn't necessarily go with that, maybe to about negative four. But when you get below negative or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is freezing or zero degrees Celsius for everybody else in the world, uh, you can still use the battery and the power inside the battery so you can discharge the energy You just can't charge the batteries and put it back in and the reason for this is it does damage to the cells when it's below freezing and Energy is added to the cells. You can discharge it all you want, but don't add power when they're below freezing It's nothing dangerous, but it will dramatically cut down the life cycles of your lithium iron phosphate batteries so uh, there are a couple ways you can kind of get around this. Now, the cool thing about lithium batteries is that if it is cold, uh, too cold to use, uh, you can just turn on some lights and use some power, and it's actually going to warm itself up while it's being used and energy is being pulled out of it. So maybe leave the lights on for about an hour, check the temperature again, and it might be able to uh, go ahead and hit the charging cycle on it then and put the power back in. A good way to check the temperature of your batteries is, my best guess is going to be with just a regular infrared heat gun, a temperature gun, you just point at the batteries, it's going to tell you exactly what the temperature is, at least of the casing of the batteries. Now, if you have your, your batteries installed inside your RV and say in a cabinet, there's a really good chance they're going to be fine while you're using the RV because you're running the furnace to keep it comfortable in the RV, so they're not going to be anywhere near below freezing and you'll be able to charge them and use them any, as much as you want. Um, the problem kind of lies when you put them in an outside storage bay, which is going to be a lot colder than the inside of the RV unless you have heat ducted into that area. Now, a really cool way I would think to uh, kind of monitor the temperature in one of these outside bays would be to get an indoor-outdoor thermometer with a remote. Uh, these are relatively inexpensive and it shows the inside temperature where the main display is and then you have a remote sensor that you can put anywhere you want and it'll send you the temperature from that area as well. So you can put that down in, in the bay with the batteries and now you have a nice little readout of your battery compartment and also the inside temperature of the RV. So that's a pretty cool way just to keep an eye on them if you're worried about uh, what the temperatures are going to be in there. Now as far as solutions go for keeping that area heated, if you are going to be in really cold conditions, uh, off the top of my head I would think that a heating block would be an, a decent solution for you, which is basically just a little block. You mount it on the wall and it creates radiant heat. Uh, some have thermostats, some do not, so you have to look into that and decide what you want there. Um, and also just a heating pad, a 12 volt heating pad I think would be a pretty decent solution with a toggle switch or whatever, whatever hardware they recommend so it doesn't overheat. But you can put those down there underneath the batteries and just heat them up a little bit until they're above freezing. And then you can charge them all the way up and go about your business and turn off the heating pad and you'll be just fine. Because like I said, you can discharge power from them once they're below 32 degrees. You just can't add it back. Um, for anybody that's really doing a lot of northern camping and stuff like that where it's going to be that cold, um, like I said, if they're inside, you're probably fine. Otherwise, you're going to have to heat those batteries up to at least one or two degrees above freezing before you charge them. Um, another thing that I wanted to go over is storage of the batteries if you're going to be leaving your RV unattended. Um, I would just take them with you. If it were me, I'd just pull them out. They're very lightweight and easier to move around. That's one of the great things about lithium batteries is they weigh like 70% less than the last of batteries. But take them with you and put them inside your house where it's nice and warm until you're ready to go camping again then reinstall. That's definitely a method. If you are going to be leaving them and your, and your temperatures are just around, say, 32 to 0 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, they're not plugged in, they're not being used, and every, they're fine. They will be okay in that climate. Just to me, I'd rather not take anyone's word for it and just take them with me because they're real expensive. Um, but that way you'll be a little safer and uh, your batteries are going to last a lot longer. You're not going to have to worry about going through so many cycles 
and uh, really discharging those batteries and shortening their lifespan. So those are some little tips and tricks for you just for lithium ion storage. And uh, hopefully that saves you a little bit of trouble and keeps your lithium ion batteries going for a really long time. I really like these batteries myself. They were great, they're lightweight and they produce total 100% power until they're dead. So I really like it. And if you are gonna store them, don't store them at 100%. Just store them at like 70 or even 50% capacity. And supposedly that's a lot better for them too. It's, they're gonna to last a lot longer. They're not really designed to be stored at 100%. The last thing I'm gonna mention is if you do have solar hooked up to your RV, you might think, well, I'm not charging it, it's not plugged in, but maybe your solar panels are. So if you have a lot of solar running into your batteries while you're away and it dips below freezing, there is a possibility that you could be doing some damage. I think that's about all the information that I can think of to share with you guys. I hope that helps you out and uh, keeps your batteries running a long time. My name is Jim with FullMoonAdventureClub.com and as always, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.